What's up everyone? How's it going? Spawning over here in the northwestern side of Rocky River. We have Marine Lord as our purple Chinese player over here in the southeast. We have Starflark as our blue Ottoman, who's going for a very standard build. Five on stone, bring it back, get a dark age military school up and running and either start harass or just start gaining those visor points visor experience not necessarily any points in dark age but it's possible over here for marine lord who's in my opinion easily the best aoe for did go for the initial five on wood into village mill on berries sheep towards mill supervise mill 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 and then you profit those are the three steps to success as china or or as the chinese or their variant zushi legacy getting the dark age military school up and running perfect perfect good job not entirely sure why he's still getting oh he was missing a little bit of wood okay there it goes yeah he was short like four wood <laughs> Or he was short like two wood. He ended up turning in four. But that's fine. It's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> the main thing we have to keep an eye out on for Whoa. our Ottoman is if he's going to do any type of aggression or if he's just going to go or if he only went the Dark Age in order to start getting those vis the visor experience. <laughs> that's the main difference or those are the two things that you have to look out for or that we're gonna have to look out for personally i've said this a few times in multiple ottoman casts when i play a, when i play as the ottoman i actually don't do any dark age uh any dark age rushes with my dark age military school i do it just so i could gain a decent army advantage in the feudal age plus i have a really solid amount of uh, visor points banked up so by the time i click over to feudal tends either right when i click over no nah, it's not usually right when i click over about 15 seconds after aging up i have enough uh points to get my first vi or enough experience to get my first visor points which generally i get uh, anatolian hills i'm not a very aggressive ottoman player I love doing the Fast Imperial. <laughs> Super cheesy, I know. It's pretty damn easy to... Uh... Ooh, Twin Minaret Majessa coming up and Barbican of the Sun. It's very easy to punish. <clears throat> and I'm okay with that. I just like the playstyle of it. I love making great bombards. Okay, right, sorry about that. I had to drink some water. Well, actually drink some coffee. Not sure why I said water. But yeah. We have a single spear trying to torch down Barbican of the Sun. Second one is going to be rolling up in the next like 20 seconds. By then, the Barbican should probably be up in honesty. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think the second spear is going to get there in time. As I said, for Starflark, he is going to be going for the Twin Minaret Madressa. I'm not sure why he's building it so far out. And by that, I mean, it's like an, it could be right up against it and it'll be perfectly fine. He is building it a full square away, though. Twin Minaret Madressa versus Barbican of the Sun. Pretty sure Barbican takes it. Oh, he is going to be able to jump on top of that. Villager shot does go off gonna be delaying this out a little bit more A few seconds is a few seconds. He is gonna be jumping around to the other side nice little micro from Marine Lord as expected stabby stab. Oh, I don't think there's gonna be a second shot though. No, there is not But that's some that's good delay. That's a really really good delay This should have already been up about 20 seconds ago, but he 
Starflark has been able to push the villager off a few times. Not just this one, but the first one as well. So that was very solid by him. Twin Menoret Madressa. Yeah, you see? Like, it could have just been right here, right next to it. So I don't know why he built it out there. Maybe there was a sheep carcass right here that I didn't see. It could have potentially got eaten up by the time I came back and checked on the landmark. Because that has happened to me several times. I rarely go for the Twin Minaret. I generally just stay with the Satani Trade Network. That is my landmark of choice. I absolutely love having the permanent passive gold from there. Hero Academy coming down in order to go into the Song Dynasty. And not much else, really. He's a uh, Marine Lord has already pulled villagers off of gold onto stone and wood in order to go into the 2TC plane. Oh. Massive lag right there. Not entirely sure what that was. Uh, that was a huge amount of lag. I don't know. Hopefully the game doesn't die. Doesn't look like the game is dying. All my stats look good. So it wasn't from my end. No frame drops, no nothing. I don't know. Anyways, where was I? Stuff and things are happening and stuff and things will continue to happen until stuff and things stop happening. Pretty sure that's that's the gist of every match I have casted. As long as stuff and things don't randomly stop happening, as in uh, game crashes, I'll be okay. Getting... So Starflark is prepping for what seems like a pretty heavy feudal aggression. Both military schools are up and running, throwing down stables, archery ranges. He's going to start massing a decent sized army. And I don't believe... Oh, it is going to get scouted right now. There it goes. Scout does go off. He's able to steal a sheep that was right there as well. So pretty good. Three archery ranges, two military schools with Sapahi popping out and another or and then a stable as well in order to get up that military count pretty decently. So this is going to be a heavy push from Starflark. And we really don't have much in terms of in terms of anything really for our Chinese player for Marine Lord. He has a single stables popping out his first Chukunu. He has two queued up. He does have Barbican of the Sun in the front of the base, so that's going to be pretty good in order to delay or deny any kind of pushes right there. Already has walls up on the south, uh, north side, excuse me, of his base. It looks like. Okay, he is going to be dropping down more and more production now. He's going up to three archery ranges, and he's going to try to hold this with Mass Chukunu, which is feasible, of course. It's not like it's impossible, but he doesn't have a very solid secondary gold source. So if I were Marine Lord, which obviously I'm not because I am not a top two player, I, I would have thrown a couple more villagers onto the gold that way I have gold bank up for consistent Chukunu production, but at the same time, he does have his Barbican of the Sun right there. So it shouldn't... It should be a non-factor? But you never know. But I am freaking terrible compared to him, so obviously he's gonna know a lot more than me. And we are gonna get the archers moving forward. They are gonna get shot in the face. One of them will anyways. Nice little pull on those villagers, pulls them back towards the closer berry patches. There is one out in the open right there that will potentially get picked off. Nice Chuku, uh, Chukunu volley right there. Does hit about three different archers. Decent amount of damage, 13 Chukunu, 15 Chukunu now for our Chinese main, or not main, Chinese original? Original flavor? Sure. Our vanilla, our Chinese vanilla. 17 Chukunu now, 17 military. 
he has nothing else aside from Chukanu. He sees the rotation coming over here on the eastern side of his base because of the Barbican of the Sun. Saw all the cavalry move that way. We see the archers scouting around, see if there's any straggler villagers, anything out of the ordinary. If he's trying to get some sort of like ninja base and there are some straggler villagers up here on the northern side of the map there's only five of them which is a perfect number to fit inside of the outpost as i've said a few times before when you do things like this it's best to just send the five villagers unless you're rust then you could send out eight because your wooden fortress holds eight right if he sent eight villagers up here three of them were dead and you just lost three villagers because you got a little greedy on the eco side of things. When you could have easily just sent five, get your survival techniques, and slowly eat up these deer as an extra source of food. Shouts going off on the west side. Villagers are going to be coming over here. This, okay, now right here, for instance, you could pull a few more villagers than normal because you could get walls up. How many does he have? 10. So it does look like he's going to potentially throw up two outposts in order to defend against any harass. There we go. There's a second one. You see how they're working with numbers easily divisible by the amount of outposts they're going to be working with. That is very solid play. Extremely solid play by our Chinese player. This is what you want to do. These are things that you need to keep into uh, into consideration when you are going to be moving out, when you're going to be taking um, auxiliary bases, let's say satellite bases, whatever you want to whatever you want to call it. Right. This is the type of uh, situation you want to put yourself in. Whoa. So when you move out with 10 villagers, you're going to want to make sure that you also have two outposts. If you move out with five villagers, you're going to put a single outpost. You want your villagers to be safe at every moment in time when you're doing these types of plays. Three military schools are up and running for Starflark, as well as two stables and three archery ranges. The first ram is coming down. 71 uh, villagers for Marine Lord. Is he only on 2 TC? Oh, well, he is in Song Dynasty, so they do come out faster. Yeah, okay. I For a moment there, I thought he was on 3 TC. And now we are going to be getting our first attack. There is a single ram out. It is going to be moving northbound in order to deal with the two outposts that are up there. This is a really good amount of Chukunu here. A few spears are going to be streamlining in they did get picked off already but they were able to tank a decent amount of damage before they did die off the Sapahi are all over these chukunu though doing a really good amount of damage archer numbers are still very healthy a few villagers might be going down on the top side of the screen no they don't chukunu sutter step has been amazing i would have liked to see a little bit better focus fire though because that was a lot of damage that could have been prevented if he did focus fire down the Sapahi one at a time instead of just allowing his chukunu to blanket fire on everything one villager did go down at the berries but the villagers were able to burn down the ram another ram is going to be getting made in order to try to deal with this they already have their hand cannon slits they have their fortification up and running granaries are going to be the granary transition is going to be starting soon he could potentially put a wall right here as well throw up the palisade wait what just uh it sounded like something got destroyed i think something got deleted maybe yeah i'm pretty sure something got deleted starflark gonna be going in for his second attack 84 villagers for marine lord 
I'll go ahead and call that out in a little bit. Actually, let's just check to see what the military count is at the moment. 36 against 46. So Bahi are going to be going straight into the back line. There's nothing to buff for them. A single spare. That's it. Villagers will be going down behind this as well. So Bahi are now getting focus fired one at a time. The both metas are down. Villagers have been garrisoned inside of both of those outposts. They do have hand cannon slits and re uh, re reinforcements or fortifications. More Sapahi coming in. The Chukunum numbers are dwindling little by little, but so are the Archer numbers. They are getting fully surrounded by Chukunu from, well, actually, three, four, three different angles they were getting attacked. Sapahis did get picked off, or were trying to pick off a couple of reinforcements until the Spears started making their appearance, and now they're going to be making their way into the back line yet again. But they aren't that heavy in numbers. So it is going to get pushed back. Starflark, with his tail between his legs, has to retreat, has to regroup, and has to find a different angle to deal with this. He's currently sitting on 600 wood, so he can drop two ramps if necessary. But I don't believe that's what he's going to want to do because he still needs to deal with the actual army of Marine Lord. On the plus side, Starflark was able to kill seven villagers. On the minus side... <laughs> Marine Lord is currently sitting on 90 villagers, 37 military, as where Starflark is on 53, uh, three, 53 villagers, 31 military, 38, 39 Chukunu with four more in queue, two spears, mass Chukunu, and that's all there is to it for our Chinese player. Really good response right here. Reaction by Marine Lord pulls those villagers instantly into the outpost does not try even though he's sitting on 95 villagers now if he lost those five he'd still be significantly ahead at the moment he's ahead 41 villagers that is insane hand cannon slits and fortification are already through or have already been through on that outpost he will be Starflark will be able to get rid of this outpost as well as the five villagers here, but he is so far behind in economy. I'm not entirely sure what he could possibly do in this stage of the game. My only opinion on this would be turtle go into castle and start getting mangonels because you know that your Chinese opponent is going for mass Chukunu. That's all you've been seeing for the last 12 minutes, essentially. Go home, regroup, turtle up, go into castle, Mahmed Imperial Armory, and Mangonels. That's your best bet at the moment. When you're going, when you're in this type of situation, what Starflark is doing is he's still trying to go feudal against feudal. When Mass Chukunu, when you hit this number, when you're in the 50, 60, 70 range of Chukunu and Feudal, they're basically gonna kill everything else in Feudal. There are there aren't very many things at all that would be able to take them out. Even aside from what Mass Royal Knights and that's French French variant, Jean d'Arc. Still. Like, it, it's going to be pretty difficult. And the Chinese could still go into uh, Spears as well to try to deal with them. Against most civilizations, there's very few things you could actually do against Mass Chukunu. Even if you were to go as English, Mass Longbow, if they jump on you, you're going to be losing a lot of Longbow. Really nice uh, granary tra transition back here. He is going to be throwing up more farms no he's gonna be going towards i'd like to see a little wall right here just throw up a little wall right here to stop a potential like split right from the sapahi is he gonna be able to commit to this 78 chukunu 12 spears are gonna be the main defense for our Chinese player. And just look at the amount of damage that they do. They are gonna be able to clear out so much. There's a really good amount of Sapagi though. The focus fire from the archers needs to be a little bit better in order to deal with those spears because they're doing a lot of damage onto those Sapagi. 
but the front line is gone for both players. The Chukanu are just going to be able to move forward now. They have to make sure that they don't just randomly start attacking the Rams. And I wouldn't be surprised to see GG get called within the next few minutes from our Ottoman player because Starflark is going to be so far behind. That was essentially an all in for him in Feudal Age, and it did get called. Game goes to our purple Chinese player, Marine Lord. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.